fucker. There's two of them. And they're angry. Bro, watch your leg! Kratos, are you okay? Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. 
And I know something about that. <clears throat> When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it. About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Funky! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Good enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Yeehaw! Better pick out that nest or it'll be Eyeball City out here. Oh! You're gonna pick a fight with us two thick nets? Ha 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 ha! Seriously! <laughs> These butts, no wonder they shut me. You don't got what it takes. <laughs> Hang on, almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Mm. No 
grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Blot than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. He is dead. We gotta have a close stop. Cover. You do the other stuff. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? We need a new vantage point, brother. <laughs> ah, promising. Once more. Aye, aye.
Again. Right on up to the ford. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from? Well, let's see. Something abstract. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam point. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. How? Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> hey! Calling all pepper drip! <laughs> So this lady there, the lady of the forge, ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to Anokin. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, I'm you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way, let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things, follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. 
This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pull dry. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like when you finally get to show the lady <laughs> your jaw. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
street you're almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteer! That's the stuff! It's your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon of fucking life! What the hell? Ain't this just like old times here? Couldn't have put it more for morning than myself. <laughs> 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 See that weak spot? Jam one in right there. Trust me, huck a spear right up there where it looks.
Yeah. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Hey, Heart Block. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead. Gunman on the left. Oh, lick my speed. There's eyeball nests all over. Get your throwing arm in here. <laughs> Above you! Watch me! Right there! Get the gang there! Behind you, Bubba! Better take out that nest or it'll be eyeball city out here! Before more things come out. Don't you see where they're coming from? Hit it already. The nest, brother, the nest! Oh. The bigger, the more you take away. Hmm. Now, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better oh. beat them out. Oh. Oh. Hold it in the high! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You ain't gonna land a single hit. You're gonna embarrass yourself right. <laughs> 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 
Lesson? Take note of that there, watch him a hoose. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. Not seeing no, it's all about the proper angle with those puppies. You want it straight on. Get extra credit. That was one of Mito's children. We don't yet have the equipment to the screen. Oh, I wonder if that squirrel outside Sindri's house has any ideas. of the boat buddy and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed oh very well these ugly birds maybe those grim will take him down Watch 
Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end up working and working. <laughs> and I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> 